If you guys have been watching my YouTube channel, then you will know Sam. He's the dude who taught me how to draw on the iPad. So at the beginning of this week, I challenged Sam to a draw-off. Probably a dumb mistake to me, because if our skills were birds, Sam would be an eagle, and I'd be a chicken. Still on the ground. Damn it, this chicken's gonna learn how to fly. Any hoot. On Instagram, there's this account called Weekly Design Challenge. And basically, they put out a different object for designers to draw, and each week they pick the best drawings. So this week, we had to draw a nebulizer. I guess how you say it. Basically, it's something that can turn your medication into a mist so you can take it orally rather than through an injection. So, the plan is, Sam will draw his one, I'll draw my one, and then we'll compare at the end. I'm pretty sure Sam's gonna win this one. I think he'll win every one, maybe for the next few months, until my skills get up there. So, without further ado, let's get into drawing. Now, unfortunately, due to the failure of the screen recording on my iPad, we really need to find a new app that does something better. We are going to start from the blocking in color stage. So, sorry, I won't be able to show you the sketching stage. But anyway, what I'm doing now is I'm just going around the edge of the color. And then once I've gone around the entire edge like so, I'll be able to fill it in with the bucket tool. And pick a color I like, decide to go for a sort of an off-white. When you're wanting to render white, you always go for an off-color. And that allows you to do the darks and then your highlights properly. Now the nebulizer needs a air intake, so I'm going to draw a sort of a mesh on the back here. Using the warping tool, I can sort of maneuver it into the position I like and sort of make it look so it's not just flat on. That's a new tool that I only recently found out about, believe it or not. Okay, now I'm going to show you something really cool. Now this is a speaker. And if you look really, really closely at the tiny little speaker holes, there's a little white highlight at the top of each one. Now to render that by hand would take forever, and it wouldn't look good, but I'm going to show you a shortcut that you can do it in about 10 seconds. So the way you achieve this is duplicate the layer, that puts a new layer there, and then jump into the HSL adjustment, and change the to full lightness white. And then once you've done that, put your white layer behind your black layer, like so, and then jump into the move tool and then we're just going to shift it ever so slightly to the left and that puts highlights above every single little hole you got shiny holes now we're going to move on to our shadow overlay something i've learned from doing this is when you're applying your shadows you apply with a big big brush so with your airbrush always apply big and then if you want to adjust it you erase small so apply with a big brush and erase small Oh, just remembered I had to color that spot and put it all back. I'm finding erasing it with a soft eraser around the edges kind of gives a nice sort of faded out look, better than the hard eraser. So I'll just add a few more shadows in just to darken it down. And don't be afraid to go super dark. It, it can often work well and you can always turn the opacity down on your shadow layers. Add a bit of shadow there, just to give that bit of a roundness to it. Now we're going to jump into highlights. So above all your shadow layers, add your highlights in. Same sort of principle. Apply big, erase small. And exactly the same as the shadows, just apply it in the light areas. And you should begin to see your form take a 3D shape. And now that we've done all that, the next is going to be the rim highlights. This is where we use a solid white and we just go around places where the light is going to catch the rims. This is what really makes a sketch pop. And now after seeing that I realized I also probably need to do a rim shadow just to make it pop even more. So I'm just going to add a little black shadow around the edge of the air duct there. Now unfortunately my screen recording crapped out again and I wasn't able to get the recording of the me rendering the actual plastic mask. But anyway, here is the finished product. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think there's always room for improvement. I'm particularly happy with how the mesh came out. That's really good. I think my layout could be a bit better. But it's night time now, so... Yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. Oh, and by the way, if you guys want to see like a full real-time version of me rendering this with audio talk over and everything so you can draw along with me, you will find that video on my Patreon. It's just $9 a month and you'll get access to all of those videos so you can learn industrial design drawing. Link in the description below. So Sam has just uploaded his photo and me word it is nice. Putting the face in was a very good idea. Good style choice. 
He's still got a long way to go. I mean, I'm happy with mine, but Sam, next level. I'll get there, I'll get there. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want really cool sketching tutorials, I highly recommend you guys subscribe to Sam's YouTube channel. He is putting up some very good content. And also, do subscribe to mine as well. Anyway, uh, all the best, and I will see you, as always, in my next video. Let me guys know what you thought of this challenge. I'm thinking of challenging Sam each week to up my skills, and then slowly, slowly, this chicken, it gonna fly. Anyway, it's getting late. Goodbye.